um, they started off hot, you know, playing really good basketball. And um, we started off slow, and then um, now we kind of found our rhythm. But the last few games have been different. So um, it's been like a tail two season pretty much. But, you know, us getting Isaiah back last night was a, was a big start for us and going in the right direction. You mentioned um, yesterday that yesterday would probably be Isaiah's only game off the bench. Can you say that he's starting Saturday? Um, as of right now, I can say that, yes. So then this would be um, – well, we could say that Jose's days as a starter are numbered, I, I guess. What what, what, hit, what did he do for you? Can you qualify that? I um, mean, he held the four down. I think um, he did a great job of just being professional, um, you know, being a veteran, making shots, running the team, taking care of the basketball, and just being ready when he was called upon. And um, he's just been great for us. And so, you know, you hate to see that happen, but he's still, he's still going to play. And, you know, Isaiah can't play back-to-backs right now, so um, he still has to be ready to play. Did he play better than you thought he would? No. What did you think of Isaiah last night? Um, I thought it was great. I thought, um, you know, hitting the floor early a couple times, you know, was good for him. Um, I thought, you know, he played with pace, got into the paint, made some passes, um, scored 17 points in 18 minutes, you know, and missed two free throws. So I just thought um, for him for his first game, um, being in Cleveland, um, the fans welcomed him the way they did. It was great. It was a little surprising when they, the start they got off to, they had that terrible injury and then, you know, uh, played pretty well. Did that catch you a little bit off guard? Say it again? Their start, the start that they had, Boston. Oh, well, I mean, well, Brad does a great job. And, um, you know, he's always he's always coached the team well. And they just had to make an adjustment. He did that. And um, that's what great coaches do. And um, he has a lot of great talent also. You know, Kyrie and Horford, um, Jalen Brown, um, Tatum, who's coming to his own as a rookie, Smart, Rozier. So they have a lot of good players, a lot of hard, hard playing guys, a lot of guys that can make plays. So um, they've made the adjustment. They've been playing well. This will be kind of a fun matchup. Everyone's going to look at it and stuff. But you guys have, you know, it's not your first rodeo. So you know about making sure you're prepared for the longer haul. Is that still what your what your mind is at? Like, make sure you guys are ready for the... I mean, it's a process. And we just got to continue to keep getting better throughout the course of the season. You know, bring Isaiah back into the fold and with Shump and D-Rose get back. So it's going to be a process. But we have to play our best basketball going into April, and we understand that. I know we're going to talk to him in a minute, but how, as far as you know, how did Isaiah come through last night? He feels good. Yeah. Do you think you're tremendously impressed with him as a teammate? Through the rehabilitation process. I mean, he was great. I mean, just the support, um, getting on guys, holding guys accountable. Um, his energy was infectious, you know, on the bench. And, you know, when you're not playing and you still had the same attitude, you know, it was great. And like I said, last night I was really, really happy and pleased with our fans the way they accepted him last night. And he deserves that. And um, it was great for us. Ty, what do you guys think? What do you figure you guys are right now in your, in your process? Um, I don't know. Because, um, you know, I only played one game. Um, still haven't got you know some a few more pieces back, but um, I like our mindset. I like the work the guys been putting in. Um, we're trying to get better, trying to make it work. So um, it's going to be a process, but you know I, I feel real confident in our talent and what we can do, and we're going to be special at the end. Is that, I mean, towards April. Is that a challenge for you too? I mean, you got to figure out where the how these pieces. Well, I think the been. biggest challenge is communication. I think you know when you have a veteran team, you know you have to let those guys like Channing and. Uh, Calder on those guys know you know you're not going to play tonight or be ready and just as long as the communication is there they can understand that and when you're on a deep team and a team that has a lot of talent and one common goal of winning the championship then everyone understands that. Speaking of Channing, he's sort of the odd man out right now. He got a couple minutes last night, but he's yeah. such a big piece in the turnaround. But now it's Tristan back. His minutes have really been. Good. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's tough for him right now, and um, he understands that. We play so well with him in the lineup and. He's like Calderon. That's what veterans do. They step in, they're ready to play, and he played a big part. So um, Tristan's back playing, you know, playing a lot better the last couple of games. And him and D Wade is getting a good feel together. Him and Corbin. So I was got to see. It's a long season, and everyone has to stay ready. The way Crowder played last night, do you think it was a coincidence since it was uh, he was in there? <laughs> um, I don't know. He was excited to have his guy back and um, familiarity, and um, one of his best friends over in Boston and still in Cleveland. So. To have your guy back, um, it was, he was very excited. I'm glad he played well. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you. I got a new friend. Right here? It's true. Yeah.